Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a couple things to unbox. So, real quick, this one is from uh, Skiff Made Blades. I'm actually going to be seeing them at um, NYCKS this weekend. This weekend for me, I don't know, you know, when this will post, but... So, there's a couple things in here for me, and... Uh, uh, couple things in here for you so let's just take a look here we have quarter inch 1 16th i think what do we got here 13 ball okay and then we have a five millimeter 364th some bigger johns right there okay and then we have uh the one millimeter yeah, so I think what we have here is a, sorry, I got confused for a second, two one millimeter sets and two 16 or one 16th ball sets. And then we have two um, of the test card, fit cards, right? And then these are uh, for me. These are, uh, this is my payment for <laughs> promoting uh, skiff bearings and whatnot. Um, no, he just sent me a few to have, so I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, these are uh, little giveaway packs that uh, Skiff and I decided to put together for you guys. So, these are kind of hard to get right now, these uh, test cards. He, I don't think he realized how popular they would be. Um, really cool item. I think it's genius. So, um, I'll be giving away one of each of these uh, soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Then we have a package from my good buddy Casey with Knives Fast. And this, y'all, is a new budget model from Migaron. So what we did was we traded. Um, I had a couple of Kaisers that they sent me to check out, and I was done reviewing them, and normally at that point I would pass them around or whatever, right? Um, and he had this, and I, he offered to send me this to review, and I fig and he was trying to sell it, I think. And I just said, hey, dude, I'll trade you these two Kaisers. It was a Kaiser Mad Tanto and a Kaiser Spot. And, um, so I just said, why don't we just trade? You can have those two and I'll keep this. Like, you know, I didn't really care about the value. I just, it makes it easy. We don't have to ship stuff and, uh, back, I mean, and we both get to check out something new for our channel. So it just kind of made sense, right? Um, so this is actually a new, new-ish budget model from Migaron. You guys might know, I'm not like a big Migaron guy, big Migaron uh collector or anything because they don't really tend to do a lot of lefty friendly stuff um i hate their plastic bags because they're just so uh weak they're just so you know i just hate that just give me the the regular kind of like this this is fine i think anyway anything on here no nope, just a card about your warranty nice box kind of qsp ish or something you have the uh, Moyarl, Moyarl, I think there's an L at the end of that, uh, Megaron Moyarl uh, Pocket Knife MGR806BK. I believe he picked this up from White Mountain Knives. Shout out to White Mountain Knives. Use my code LEFTY10 over there. Got some oil up on this beer's niche. Um, so, right off the bat, I would say it feels a little thick, a little chunky. It is a liner lock, which is cool. Um, we do have proud liners, which is why, uh, you know, it's a little chunky. Let's see, are those steel? Yep, those are steel liners. Now, this is like a $50 knife, so keep that in mind. Detent feels pretty good. Uh, we do have a reversible clip, which I like. Um, titanium clip, which is really cool. Yep. Titanium clip. Uh, backspacer looks to be G10 to match the scales. Migaron logo here, pivot collar here, and clip match. You got a bit sticking out of your pocket there. <laughs> um, quite a bit, honestly, um, but we'll see how that carries. Um, first, let's check our deployment here at the thumb. 
Okay. Nice detent. Um, really, I, I, I dig the overall silhouette. It's, um, it's a clean looking knife. Um, comfortable in the hand. It is, like I said, a little thick, but you know, it feels good in the hand. So I got to give them that, um, reverse grip. Oh yeah. Friday night gas station grip is good to go. You can even go into a choil gas station grip, <laughs> but I would not do that. I would chill back here. Uh, reverse gas station is not comfortable at all. Uh, reverse regular grip. So I guess draw, whatever you call this is good. Um, action. Ooh, boy. Ha, hello. Uh, dead down the center. Yeah, it's close enough. Reverse flick lefty. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. hello, Migaron. All right. That was fun. Uh, no play. Eh, weensy, weensy bit of uh, up and down there. Nice little bit of droppage. Uh, bearing. So we got plastic. So we have Teflon cage. Let's see if we can get in there. We've got Teflon cage bearings right there. Why is this shaking? What is going on here? Sorry. Um, anyway. We have Teflon cage bearings, and uh, that's okay. I mean, it's $50. They look on the smaller end, so my guess is that this is going to be a 364th ball knife, but I can't be certain, and I probably won't mess with it. 14C, 28N, and that's all you got for billboarding? Okay. We've got a little bit of a... Nah, I'm going to say it kind of has a little rattle on the clothes, but it's okay. This is really nice. Right hand reverse like, oh man, that's good. This is phenomenal. I love the key shaped hole. Fires really well. Left handed thumb flick. Oh yeah. I got to say, this is my favorite uh, Migaron to date easily. That thing fires, man. If it was a little bit thinner, I think it would be, like, amazing. If you made it a little thinner and then, you know, a little deeper carry, but I'm good with it as is. I don't love the proud liners. You know, nested liners would be how you thin this out. But it uh, feels really comfortable. Let's take a look at how she cuts. Yeah, and I believe Casey used this quite a bit in his uh, to review it. So, um, looks like the edge is holding up really good. I don't love the uh, PBD coating on here. But, I mean, it's not bad, the PBD coating. I just don't like PBD. I'd prefer a tumble on that. You could always have somebody do that, I guess. But, you know, I don't know um, how long this is going to last. But I really like it. I got to say, this is... Um, this is 50 bucks. Like this is this is probably the best 50 bucks you can spend right now on a knife. Um What is going on with this uh Hold on. I'm trying to get this to not shake like that. I don't know why it's shaking. Shake, 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 shake sonata, shake a body around. Right, is that better? Yeah, that's better. Maybe it's me bumping shit. I don't know. Anyway, um, Migaron Moyarl. Really nice piece. I enjoy. So, uh, for $50, I really can't complain about anything on this. Let me just check that clip. Oh, you know what? It, it, uh, it's not like deep at all but it's not terrible either it's actually pretty good you can't get in there to that tip uh, this reverse flick man this key shaped hole is got to be my favorite at this point um man yeah the way the uh vosti nightshade fired out and then now this just really satisfying this is a good looking knife all right sorry i'm i'm done I'll uh 
I'll check the interwebs and I'll see if I can find anything available uh, when I upload this. And I will link it in the description. So if I can find it somewhere that you can buy it, I will link it. Um, hopefully it's on Amazon or something like that. I think it's on their website. So worst case, just head over to Megaron's website and see. Looks like we got T8s too. Let's um, do a quick discount double check. Look at that. T8s. T8s on the clip. Wow. What do we got on the uh, pivot here? The old Pivaroonie, yep. T8 on the Pivaroonie, too. That's, uh, oops. <laughs> That's impressive, man. I gotta say. I am, uh, pleasantly surprised by this knife. Very, very happy with it. So, next, uh, this is the, uh, the package. No, this is a package from Oak City Leatherworks. Oak City Leather Supply. I always say... Leather works, and I don't mean to. Cut that. Where else do we have tape? There we go. So, I sent Oak City uh, a couple of my fidgets and asked for some slips. And they had... They had them for a while. <laughs> I guess he had them for like two months, three months. I can't even remember at this point. And um, he finished them, but he ended up just giving them to me. I, he just sent me tracking, and I was like, what's this for? And he's like, it's for your fidget slips. And I'm like, what? And he's like, I had them too long. So um, they're free. And I was like, what? So I offered to pay, you know, materials or shipping or whatever. And um, he wasn't having it. So thank you to Oak City Leather Supply. Really appreciate that. I sent him my Loudy uh, CP3. Sorry, it's a Mackie CP3, but it's got um, Loudy stuff on it. And I thought a slip for that might fit some other sliders. And then I sent one of my uh, NJT coins along. So we have that. And then here we go. So, what I was worried about with these was the size, because they look pretty big, you know? Um, he does very square stuff, so that was my concern. This looks like a decent size, so I'm guessing this is for the um, Mackie. So, you just slide that in like that. There you go. So, you got a little slip for your CP3, and we'll see if that works with the... Um, with the regular CP3 as well. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to get it out. If you just do that. You just squeeze it and pull it out. Yeah, it works. Squeeze, pull. Okay, got it. All right, so let's let that guy... Um, I guess it'll form, right? Will it form? I don't know. Cool. Looks nice. Really nice burnished edges like that. Okay. And then we have the coin slips. So this one here, I thought it'd be cool to have multiple. So this would be very good for the Zerkutai type coin. Can I do the same thing here and just pinch? Yeah. Um, maybe that's one reason it has to be this large. It's just weird to me that it's so much bigger than the coin, but I guess that kind of has to be the way it is. I just, it just takes me a minute to uh, get used to something, you know? He said he tried a bunch of different versions. He was trying to make it like, I don't know what he was trying to do, form-fitted or something like that. Um, so real quick, let me drop this and drop this. I have a few that are colored, right? So I have a bunch of NJT coins, by the way. Um, these two are like monochrome and then I have a bunch that are colored. So my thinking was I can use this one for any of these, right? Boom, boom. And then anytime I have one that's just, you know, black or this black and gray, I can use this guy. So... 
We can pop. Ooh, that's that natural Pueblo. Ooh, 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 that's that good shit right there. So is this. This is the Ortizia Pueblo. Man, this is nice. Yeah, so my only concern with it really is the size. Like, is this going to be uncomfortable in my pocket? But, um, you know, it's funny because I don't even really need it to protect the coin. Because I pretty much just drop these in my pocket anyway. Because um, they go in a pocket by themselves, right? But it's more to look cool, you know? <laughs> it's just kind of nice. I like slips. It's just something I like to carry. So I think these are sweet. Um, there they are stacked up. So if you guys have fidgets... And you want to get some slips, you know, you might hit up Oak City Leather Supply for them. He also makes knife slips. He makes fixed blade slips. He does all kinds of cool stuff. So definitely check that out. Um, I'm going to be carrying one of these today. So I will report back. I think I'm going to carry this one because I just really like that um, natural leather. And then you got the zirku tie just not colored so this is etched but not flamed this is etched and flamed so once they put a torch to it it turns these crazy colors i guess um and then this one's just a blasted zirconium which would also work and they're all the same size so that's where i'm thinking it shouldn't make a difference right if i put any of these coins in they're all the same size it should just fit like a glove so we shall ultimately see what the deal is but uh yeah let me know what you guys think of this down below and uh i got one more thing to unbox so let me move these coins out of here i got more coming more of these coins i got uh three more coming and uh if you are a fan of these njt coins and you want to get one, um, keep your eyes peeled or hit me up because I asked him to send me an extra like five Zerku Tai coins so that I could just sell them here because, you know, he has to ship them from China to wherever and kind of makes it a mess. I was like, dude, you could just send me like five and then we can ship from here and it'll help you, you know, uh, with that, you can just get them to the U.S. Kind of be like an inventory here. So if you've been looking for one, I have some Zerkutai ones coming, which are uh, ones that look like this. And uh, they're going to be like 140 bucks, something like that. So um, you can hit me up and I'll put you on a list or something. And then when they get here, I can sell you one. So yeah, these are fucking cool, man. Yeah, I dig. I dig. Uh, this one's definitely slimmer. I like that definitely like the slimmer one i was hoping that it would fit this guy right here but there's no way it's gonna fit in there is it maybe i'll like squeeze it in but i don't think that's a good idea and i doubt this one would fit in hey look at that basically fits right in there it's not you know gonna mold the same way but pretty good now of course this has the lanyards is, is that kind of dumb maybe you know probably look better on that one but it's cool that it fits right so am i supposed to push it to the bottom or am i supposed to like let it sit somewhere in the middle and then now you push it down i know i'm dumb all right so let's get these moving that's cool man if you guys have a cp3 i think this is great I have another one. I think the size will be fine. It'll work. That Loudy is just a little bit different. But anyway, moving along. I have one more thing, and this is uh, a little different. It's from a company called Obi, and Obi is like part of Olight, I think. They're kind of, their own, they have their own website now. And it's kind of like, I don't know if it's a marketplace or what, but they sell... Um, Right now, it looks like they're selling a lot of outdoor stuff. And you guys know me. I am not, like, a big outdoorsman or anything. Um, but they wanted to send me this knife. And I told them 
exactly what I said to you. I'm not a big outdoorsman. I'm not like really somebody who uses these fixed blades a lot. So, you know, I don't know if it's a great idea, but basically what they said was, hey, we have, um, we have other knives coming that are folding knives in the future. And we'd love to get your input on this one. So I'm like, all right, I'll 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 take a look. But don't expect a lot. <laughs> That's basically what I said. It looks cool. Uh, it's O-knife, kind of bowie blade. Um, you got D2 and G10. 10.89 uh, ounces. Oh, check that out. That is a sick pout, or patch. It's called the Fortitude. Look at that. I actually really dig that. It's got a bear with some claws. This is going into my patch uh, drawer. I have a drawer for patches, and I eventually will put them on stuff. The last few pouches I bought, for some damn reason, didn't have loop on them. So here's your sheath. It's pretty, pretty, uh, yeah, that's a nicely made sheath. Got a tech lock type deal on here. What's going on? Should push down, right? Oops. Oh, I locked it. Duh. There you go. Sorry. Told you I'm not an expert. You can adjust this however you like. Um, and that'll snap it on. So you can put it on your belt. You can put it on a bag. I believe you can... Can you turn it? I think you could. If you took these two out. Um, yeah, then you could turn it sideways probably and carry the knife. Yeah. You should be able to, instead of putting the two here, you can put it across here or whatever. And then you could carry it horizontal or however it works. Uh, you get my point. And clearly, you can lock that so you can't undo it. So, there's that. Instructions I won't read. A piece of plastic over the knife. So, they're being careful. Oh, I got a green one. Oh, this is, dude. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sort of, uh feeling like i'm glad they talked me into this because this is really nice looking and very comfortable in the hand holy schmoles okay i'm really digging this so you have a choil here obviously got a little sharpening choil sharp blade we can check that i love this cerakote on here i assume it's cerakote Here's your serial number, KN01171. Uh, just so you know, I do have a link for this in the description. So if you want to pick one of these up, uh, if you use my link, it'll help the channel. I'm, I'm not sure if my discount works over there from O-Knife or O-Lite, Lefty EDC, but you can try it. Um, but yeah, this is really comfortable. Holy shit. If I was a woodsman, gotta say, this would be a pretty good knife to have on you. Um, lengthwise, what do we got here? We got a four and a quarter, four and a quarter inch blade with a four and three quarter inch uh, handle. So what did I say? Four and a quarter? yeah maybe a little more than four and a quarter but somewhere around there let's check out our kydex here and see how she uh feels i get this right i think i got it right yeah wow nice snap in let's see how she comes out Ooh, okay that's good see if there's any rattle in there nothing no rattle she's not coming out but if I pull, yeah, got good retention. I mean, a little thumb push, she pops right out. Dude, I dig this sucker. This might, uh, this might have to replace my uh, truck knife. Right now, my truck knife is a Civivi. Um, the hell is that thing called? It's, um, it's got a goofy name. The White Chetty. No, the um, it's something like that though. The what the what the what your machete, what your machete, something like that. Uh, and it's not bad. What what hatchet? It's some. God damn it! It's just.
pissing me off that I can't remember. But I like it, um, but I like this a lot better. And I think this makes more sense if I ever needed that freaking truck knife to have this guy instead. So maybe I'll bring that Sabibi in and I'll give that away. Um, and then I'll uh, keep this guy around. Actually, I think it was a Sen Cut. But yeah, it's got nice scales on it. I like the G10. Um, let's grab a piece of paper. I know this knife is not meant for cutting paper, but, you know, I'm just checking. Yeah. Feels good. So, here's the question, though. Am I going to be able to do a full video on this? I don't know. We'll see. Um... I just don't want to be pretentious. I don't, I don't know if that word made sense in that situation, but I don't want to make a video just for the sake of making the video because they sent me the product, right? Like, I'm all for affiliate links and that kind of stuff, but it I only do it when I like a company, right? And I do. I like Olight. I like O-Knife. They have, for the price range they're in and for what they provide... It's very cool, and I like that they have routine drops, so it keeps things fresh, collectible kind of stuff, right? This is a different situation. It's Obi. It's a new kind of website they have. Again, link in the description if you want to check it out. I took a look on there, and they had some cool outdoor stuff. I'm not an expert, so you guys let me know in the comments how legit the store is, how legit the products look to you. They had some kitchen knives. They had some outdoor gear for camping and stuff like that. Um, and it looks like it's all O branded, you know, it's a uh, O life. They have a brand called O life. Um, and you know, they're trying to branch out, um, which is what you do when you're a company and you try to grow. So I get it. Um, so I, I really like the company, but I only, you know, promote stuff I like. I only, you know, review stuff I'm interested in, uh, unless it's kind of a joke or something like that. Um, and I really do like this actually, but I just don't know if I'm going to use it. Um, so, you know, that puts a little bit of a damper on it, whether I can review it or not. So you guys let me know, would you like to see a review of this knife? I should ask that more often. Um, but you guys let me know, would you want to see a review of the fortitude on the channel? Um, and if you guys want to see it, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll go chop some shit. You know, maybe I'll test a few um, a few of these that I have. You know, I have that Sabibi Sen Cut one, um, and I have my my Hoback stuff. So maybe I can make a video out of that kind of stuff. But it would be kind of fun to test this outside. You know, chop some shit, baton something, not my usual, um, and then maybe send it off. Um, if anybody else wants to review it, maybe Scab would want to check this out if he doesn't have one already. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. So there you go. That's a big, long, random unboxing. We have stuff from Skiff Made Blades, a.k.a. Skiff Bearings, which is awesome. We have the uh, Obi Fortitude link in the description. Ah, damn, I can't believe it. I really like this thing. Uh, so thank you to you guys for um, pushing me to check this out. And then we have from uh, Casey over at Knives Fast. I traded for this Megaron Mayore or whatever it is. Mayoral. And another one, man. Surprisingly, really, really like this knife. So um, this is sick for 50 bucks, honestly. I don't know how the hell. Yeah, really, really good. So dig in that piece. And then we have the slips from uh, Oak City Leather Supply for the fidgets. But he does knife slips and all other types of stuff. And um, if you guys are interested in the NJT coins, hit me up. Because by the time you see this, I might actually have them. You never know. So um, if you're interested in this specific one, uh, or this pattern, I mean... Because this is what he's sending me, I think. These flamed and etched Zerkutai ones. Um, hit me up. 145 bucks. I'll have a few to sell. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.